King Arthur's Labyrinth. There it is. Is that underneath? Ah, it will go underneath, yeah. You are now going to travel by boat, deep under the mountain, and explore on foot the tunnels and caverns of the labyrinth where the tales reside. Is that true? True? Who knows? It was all so long ago, way back in the mists of time. But was King Arthur real then? Did he live in Wales? Oh, I reckon so. See the waterfall? Too far? What's happening? Behind that waterfall is the past. Do you want to go? Do you? Yes, you're gonna get wet. The boy is Mugbill, and the man is a king called Cuthail, whom the Saxons called Vortigern. Why is Mugbill kneeling? Listen, and you will hear the voice of Beneath the mountain of Dinas Emeris, I have seen two dragons, one red, one white. They are the cause of your disappearing stones. And so Cuthail's men dug into the mountainside. And to their amazement, they found two dragons. One red, one white. And the two dragons began to fight. Blood rolled down the mountains of North Wales. And he wore a cloak made from the beards of twenty-eight kings of Britain, whom he had defeated in battle. <laughs> a new king called Arthur had been crowned. It so happened that he needed only one more beard to make his cloak perfect. There's even look like there's water in it. No. Oh, Sam, what is the door? <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Huge! Wow! Who dares disclose the head of Bran the Blessed? I, Arthur, King of Britons, dare disclose the head of Bran the Blessed. Whoever discloses my head must hear my story. Take my sword, Excalibur, and go to yonder waterside. And there, I charge you. Throw my sword into the water. The Lady of the Lake. And Sir Edward returned to the dying king. And he took Arthur upon his back and carried him to the waterside. Comfort yourself, Sir Edward. For I must go into the Bay of Avalon to heal my grievous wounds. And if you never hear of me more, pray for my soul. Is it Vanna? I don't know. Not a lot. Okay. During a storm, the sea burst through the dikes and the land was flooded. <laughs> and my name is Tal Yessing. Wow. I was alive at the time of King Arthur. Tal Give or take a story or two. Tal Yessing. Come! I have one last story to tell you about Arthur. Danger. Dragon blood. Yeah? Dragon blood, don't it? <laughs> the story is we told about Arthur. We have to see a dragon. Pass you to try going to bed. Coca Quinn. Red and white, sir. Oh, do, do. See all that gold. Be a wealthy man for the rest of my days! He grabbed all the gold he could, so that he became fat with it. So fat that he squeezed against the bell as he tried to leave the game. One of King Arthur's men awoke. Is it time? 
No, no. Actually, it isn't. Sleep on, brave knight. Sleep on. Your journey is nearing its end.